back to my channel. Today I have a February message for all of the Aries out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single Aries out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I'm a psychic intuitive and a spiritual coach, and I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every other week right here on this channel. Without further ado, let's get into your message, Aries. All right, Aries, you know the drill. We are going to do a nine card draw. But before we do, I just want to point out that if you are looking to book your own private session with me to get your own personal private reading, please click down in the description box and you will notice that I now have an Etsy shop. So you can book all of your appointments with me there. Let's get to it, Aries. What information and what insight can you offer Aries this upcoming month, Spirit? What information and what insight can you offer Aries this upcoming month? Okay. All right. All right, Aries. So first up, you are starting out at the Three of Wands. So I kind of feel like there's um, a lot of things that you yourself have currently been working on. Um, but I feel like you're kind of just waiting around. Um, I kind of, yeah, okay, so I kind of feel like you're, you've just been waiting around for things to sort of just to sort of come to you, um, but Aries, you're an air sign, I mean, you're a fire sign, you know, you're supposed to be taking action, and I just kind of feel like you don't really have the right direction right now, like you're unsure of what direction to take in regards to the things that you are trying to create, um, or the things that you're wanting to sort of bring in to fruition, it's almost like you need a little bit of direction. Um, I say that because the next card you have is the Chariot in Reverse, which is about um, progress. It's about victory. It's ultimately about direction. And I feel like you just don't have the right direction right now. It's like you have this desire. I see that. Like I see that you have this desire that you're really wanting to fulfill. Like you have a goal. You have a vision in mind. And you're asking for it, but I don't feel like you're very clear about what it what it is you're truly desiring, if that makes any sense. That's ultimately clearly what I'm picking up here. But let's see, one more card for Aries for this month. One more card for Aries. Perfect. All right. Okay, Aries. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first card up represents where you currently are. And as I said earlier, you are at the three of wands. And so this is about um, truly asking your, you're waiting for your ships to come in, right? Like you, like I said, I just have this feeling that you, you have this desire that you've really been asking for and you've been asking spirit to sort of deliver it to you and you're just waiting. You're just sitting around waiting for it to show up. I don't know if maybe you haven't really taken action because you're unsure of when the right time is. Um, but the message behind the three of wands is if you're waiting around for the right time, there is never going to be a right time. You just have to be willing to take the first step. Understand that when you have a three of wands, it's really wands in and of itself is about action. It's about taking action. The three of wands is about, you know, number one, having faith and trusting in the process, right? Like understanding that what you've asked for is coming to you, but it isn't going to just magically show up in your lap. It isn't going to just magically show up out of nowhere, um, I think it's because you have to sort of put forth the action. You have to sort of make, make the initiative, like listen to the guidance that you've been receiving on what the next step is, right? Like don't try to like figure out the how or the why or the when, right? Like, cause I think a lot of times when we make goals for ourselves, we set ourselves up in a specific timeline. We want it, we want this much by this amount, by this time, right? Um, but when it comes to our manifestations and when it comes to our desires, we have to have direction, okay? Your theme this month is the chariot, okay? So I feel that, um, 
whatever it is that you have been asking for, whatever you've been desiring here, Aries, note and, and, and understand that you're lacking the direction. When you have the chariot in the upright position, you will notice that this individual is guiding these two horses by his own sheer will. He is willing them to go in the direction that he wants them to go, right? But when you have it in the reverse position, it really tells me that your will isn't really understood. You're not really willing <laughs> to put forth the energy, the effort, or the work into making your dream or your desire become a reality because you're waiting for the right time. You're waiting for the right sign. You're waiting for, you're just waiting to wait, okay? Understand that the reason why you haven't seen the things that you wanted to see is because spirit is waiting on you. They're waiting on you to say, I'm ready. But what they're really waiting for is for you to take that first step. They need you to take that first step here, Aries. If you're unwilling to take that first step, you're going to just continue waiting on the edge here. You're just going to continue waiting and Spirit's going to say, we're just waiting on you. You know, because the moment that you take your first step is when Spirit realizes they're ready. They're, they're ready, they're willing to put in the work and they're willing to put in the energy and the effort, no matter how complicated it might be, no matter how scary it might feel, they're ready, right? Okay, now what are you accomplishing this month? You have the star card here, okay? So this clearly shows me that you have latched on to that dream, that vision, that desire that you are wanting to manifest and you know that it's yours. You know that you deserve it and you've claimed it. Um, but I really feel that what's lacking here is that you need to have a little bit more hope and a little bit more faith, right? I feel that when I'm looking this way, up and down, what I'm really seeing here is the star, the six of cups and temperance. Okay. And what that really tells me here, Aries, is that there is something in your past. Okay. That I don't really feel that you have fully examined or that you have fully healed from. Something needs to transform in the way that you feel about something that transpired in your past. Now, this could be, this could actually be you know, maybe it's a conversation that you need to have with maybe a younger version of yourself. Maybe when you were younger, you sort of had this belief or this idea that whatever it is you're trying to achieve is not achievable, right? Like if you can really sit back and think about that, you know, maybe when you were younger, you had someone that sort of gave, put up per, per, put on this belief that, you know, being successful was just not something that was in the cards for the family, right? So don't get your your hopes up too high, right? Like whatever it might be here, I'm really feeling that what needs to happen is you need to transform something from your past in order for you to truly have that hope and that faith re restored and rekindled, okay? Now, what is... What do you need to avoid? Okay, you have the Wheel of Fortune. And so far, I want to point out that almost every sign that I've read for has had the Wheel of Fortune somewhere in their lineup this month. And this is what I'm going to say here, Aries. February is the month where we are going to be experiencing massive change on a global perspective throughout the entire collective. Understand that February is going to be the month where everyone is going to be pushed exactly where they need to be for their greatest good of all, okay? And I feel that what you need to avoid here with this Wheel of Fortune is avoid getting caught up in the what-ifs, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is constantly moving. And when the Wheel of Fortune comes up in this position, what that really tells me is that you're probably not going to like what transpires in your life. But understand that what is transpiring is it's making you look at all of the ways that you have sabotaged yourself, you have deceived yourself, all the things that you're lying to yourself about that you're not being completely and utterly honest with, right? And this could be something from your past, right? But what it, what it's truly trying to bring to the surface is that you need to love 
every aspect of yourself, whether you did something bad or you have this conception that you did something bad when you were younger, it doesn't matter. You need to heal that. So understand that what you're needing to avoid is avoid getting caught up in the what ifs or what could have been kind of a deal, right? Because what they're saying is that what transpires, transpires. You have to accept it and you have to go with the flow. And when it comes up, you just have to deal with it. And that's really what they're saying here. Now, what do you need to embrace? You have the Seven of Swords as your embrace card. And what that's telling me is that whatever darkness that you've been hiding right now, when I say darkness, I'm not saying it's something evil. What I'm truly saying here, Aries, is that all of the little secrets that you sort of, or the skeletons in our closet that we sort of wanted to hide and we never wanted to face and we never wanted, we're like, that's behind me. I'm no longer willing to look at that. What it's truly saying is that, no, we're bringing it to light. You need to look at this, right? Because this is what's really going to help you learn to take that next step forward in order to fulfill this destiny that you have for yourself, this desire, this passion, this dream, this manifestation that you're that you're wanting to latch onto here, Aries, right? So what it's saying is that what you need to embrace is you need to embrace all aspects, truly see yourself in the light, truly recognize that we have both light and dark within us. And even though we might not like the dark aspects of ourselves. We have to learn to embrace them. We have to learn to love them. We have to learn to honor them because they still are a part of us. And, and as long as we can embrace those aspects, we can become in harmony with it. Now, remember, 2022 is the year of harmony. And the angels of love have truly said this. If you go back and you look at my angels of love channeling video that released on the 24th of January, you will notice what their primary message was. It was about harmonizing the things in our life that we sort of find resistance to. So that's truly what you need to embrace here. Now, what's the obstacle? You have the Six of Cups, right? Your obstacle is really something from your past. This could be a person. This could be maybe a belief or an idea, um, something from your past, right? Or it could be maybe it's this younger version of yourself that sort of didn't believe that things could be lovable or things could be successful, whatever it might be, right? You're the only one that's going to really know. And it's going to be different for everybody here, Aries. So I just want to point that out. I feel that your obstacle is really something from your past, something that you need to learn to love and nurture, okay? Now, what is your advice, your support? I'm sorry. What is your support? You have the two of pentacles. What this really tells me is that you need to learn to find balance. You need to learn to find balance between the light and the dark within you. Also, learn to, um, you're going to have to come to a decision. It's about a choice, right? you ultimately get to decide which direction you want to go, right? But when the wheel steps in, okay, and this is where I see this because when I'm looking at this up and down right here, I see the three of wands, the wheel of fortune with the two of pentacles. What this is telling me is that, you know, you're waiting for the perfect time and spirit here with the wheel of fortune is saying there never is a perfect time. There never will be because the wheel is always moving. If you're waiting around for the wheel to kind of slow down to say, okay, this might be the best time for me to do it. No, there is no such thing as a perfect time. What they're saying is you need to make a choice. You need to decide right now when you're going to do it and take that first step, right? So that is your support. Understand that they are going to you know, provide you with everything that you need. They're going to provide you with the resources that you need, with the advice that you need. Um, but you need to ultimately make the choice. You need to, and, and understand, and hear, and understand when I look diagonally with the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Star card, right? Understand that whatever choice you make, right? Whatever choice you make, when you have that hope and that desire that it's going to always, that it's going to lead you exactly where you need to be or it's going to provide you exactly with what it's, what you're wanting it to provide you with, right? Understand that you're going to have those doubts. You're going to have those insecurities. You're going to have those, those, you know, 
little naysayers in your mind that are going to constantly plague you, right? Understand that when that happens, you have to address it in the moment that it happens, right? This is truly about learning to face your fears, learning to face all of the ways that you sabotage yourself mentally, verbally, emotionally, spiritually, whatever it might be. You need to face that head on and, and do what is needed in order to heal those aspects. Now, what is your action? You have the six of swords here, okay? So your action is understanding that spirit is leading you towards where you're wanting to go. It's leading you towards a better time, okay? You may not have the direction here. You may not have the direction and you may not be willing to take the first step right here with the chariot and you're kind of maybe upset with yourself. Maybe you're lying to yourself. Maybe you're telling yourself, you know what? I'm not going to do anything until spirit really truly shows me. And maybe spirit has been giving you the signs. Maybe spirit's really been telling you, we're here. We're waiting. We're just waiting for you to take that first step. You know, I really feel that what your action is, is you have to trust. You have to fully trust, right? You have to leave everything behind. Leave all your doubts. Leave all your fears. Leave everything behind. This woman is carrying a suitcase. Everything that she owns is in this suitcase. Everything that is of value to her is in this suitcase. And that is all she's taking with her. She's going somewhere new. She's leaving everything else behind because it, why? It no longer serves her, right? She understands that she is being leaded, leading, she's being led towards her star. And you have your star here. Your star is your true north. It's where you are the most vibrant. It's where you are the most successful. It's where you achieve your greatness, right? The Six of Swords is a rite of passage. It moves you towards your destiny, okay? Now, what is your advice and your encouragement? You have temperance here. And I feel that what this truly represents is that your advice is understand that things take time, right? You're not going to, you know, nothing is going to happen at the drop of a hat. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some practice. You know, healing on a spiritual level takes a lot of time. It doesn't just magically happen overnight. We can't just say, okay, well, I've, I've journaled for six months on one issue and I'm never going to have any issues with that issue again. That's not how it works, right? Temperance is really about the balance of energies, right? We have to learn to balance all of the energies that are within us and around us, right? The light, the dark, the masculine, the feminine, right? But it's also about patience, understanding that as we transform things in our lives, you know, because temperance is really in the traditional tarot, it is seen with an angel with two cups, right? He is transforming water into wine. That takes time. It takes true intention, right? We have to learn to be patient and recognize that everything in life is a journey, right? It's not about the destination. It's about the experience, right? When that angel is transforming water into wine, what is he learning? What is he understanding? He is understanding that we have to have the right balance of, of both chemicals in order to create the perfect consistency of what we're looking for. And that is no different here, right? So this is your message here, Aries. Now we are going to draw an additional card to see what additional information spirit has for you. And we are going to be using the magic of unicorns oracle cards to see what additional information spirit has. So let's see. Angels, archangels, guides, ascendant masters, what additional information and insight can you offer Aries this month. All right, let's see here. All right, this is beautiful, Aries. So we have number 34, the cosmic pearl. This is about expanding your psychic gifts and opening the gate to the angelic realms. Now, I love this because your ending card is the temperance, which is about angelic guidance. Um, and this is really about learning to be a little bit more open-minded. Um, and opening up to the divinity of cosmic um, angelic guidance. I do want to point out that you have some really important, and I mean important, 
major arcana cards. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which is about your fate and your destiny. The Chariot, which is about um, our free will, the direction, our success. The Star, which is really about hope and guidance. And um, for some people, it could be fame. And then Temperance, which is about transformation, right? So let's see what this message in the book says about the Cosmic Pearl. I just really feel here, um, Aries, that what spirit really wants you to understand is that, you know, when you start off with this three of wands, which I kind of feel you like sort of waiting around, and I move to the seven of swords. The seven of swords is really about, you know, bringing the things to light. Like if, if you're trying to get away with not focusing on certain aspects of our life that we need to focus on. Spirit saying, no, we're going to draw attention to that. We're going to shine a big bright light on it because that is an area that you need to heal, right? Um, it's because it's going to lead towards a massive transformation for you. And I feel it's going to be a, like a huge aha moment for you where you're going to be sort of expanding into this new awareness of, oh my gosh, it wasn't as complicated as I thought it was going to be. Why didn't I do this sooner? All right, so let's see what Cosmic Pearl is. Luminous, iridescent cosmic pearls glow with the divine feminine energies of caring, nurturing, beauty, creativity, peace, enlightenment, and inner serenity. Archangel Joel's, who is in charge of all the waters of the planet, is instrumental in the creation of these pearls. Water is the psychic element and it enables them to maintain a very high spiritual energy. They help you attune to the currents of the universe and also enhance your psychic abilities. Archangel Christiel, who oversees the casual chakra and the moon, co-creates the cosmic pearls with Archangel Joel's. He is the pure white Archangel of Peace who guards the Stargate of Lyra, the unicorn's entry point for this universe. When unicorns illuminate a cosmic pearl, they increase its effect tenfold. Your guidance today is to ask your unicorn to light up a cosmic pearl and place it in your third eye. Know that it is waking up your latent psychic gifts. Then ask that it expands to include your casual chakra above and slightly below your crown, for this contains your gateway to the angelic realms. Receiving this card suggests that these gates are opening wider for you now. Tune in to your wisdom. Then send a cosmic pearl to people and situations that need its gentle influence. Take a moment to see this blessed pearl light up and purify the waters of our planet. Okay. I really feel that this primary message for you, Aries, is really about spirit wanting you to become illuminated right? The center card, the heart of your reading is the seven of swords. Look how beautiful this moon here is illuminating this situation right now. Remember what I said, spirit is bringing something to light here. And I really feel that you need to be open to receiving its message, understanding what it truly means for you and learning to work through it, to transform to a higher awakening or understanding of what you're truly needing and desiring here. So Aries, I thank you so much for joining me today. This is your message and I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Namaste, guys.